After passing through Woods Eaves Cutting, the longest on any canal in Britain by the way, we reach Turley Wharf, built by the Twemlow family shortly after the canal was opened. From around 1911, the wharf was used for loading milk churns to be taken to Cadbury's factory at Knighton. Turley Locks, a flight of five, drops the canal by around 10 metres and, with typical practicality, was built of stone cut from Woods Eaves cutting. The locks on this canal are painted in grey and white instead of the usual black and white and have been since at least 1920. The locks through which the lock flight was cut are now a fascinating haven for plants and animals with wild strawberries in some summers and a wide variety of fungi in evidence. It's a pretty flight, it's often very busy and the swiftly flowing bywashes common on shroppy locks can make life difficult for steerers. When you make it down to Market Drayton, you find an historic market town, a healthy walk away from the canal, with a weekly market and a couple of supermarkets. By the canal itself, there are school playing fields and a range of old canal buildings opposite the facilities block. There was a pub, the Tolbert, but it's now gone the way of so many and become a home. It's a popular stop for boaters needing to shop, fill and empty their tanks and explore a pretty town, which has been slowly brought back to prosperity. There's plenty of mooring either side of the road into town, and it's rare not to be able to tie up before heading northwards for lock flights at Adley and Audley.